And the book of Romans, chapter 8, we read the passage, we read the scripture. That states that all creation, that the earth moans and groans for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. The earth is awaiting for the sons and daughters of God to arise and manifest glory. We see a lot of chaos. We see a lot of turmoil. We see a lot of distress. That's happening. And those of us that are kingdom proclaimers, we think that the only change is when you cast a ballot. We think that the only change is when you, if you're a Republican, we think that the only change is that if you are a Democrat, we think that the only change is if you vote somebody in. No, 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 no. The scripture tells us greater is he that is within thee than he that be in the world. Greater. What is this greatness? If you are a child of God, the Christ, the agape love, the greater one, the greater one, should be on the inside of us. It should be on the inside of us. Displaying that true agape love. The same comfort that God has birthed and installed in us. We have a mandate to display that same love of Christ. We have a spiritual duty to speak to the ills of mankind. We have a spiritual assignment in the earth is to breathe life in places of darkness. We're not supposed to be, if you are a born again, fire baptized believer, you should not be afraid to go in places of darkness and breathe life. Some of us was in dark places. Some of us was high. Some of us was doped up on crack, on heroin. Some of us was strung out. Some of us was out there. Some of us have been out there. We've been in the alleys. Crack was just like the norm, just like having a cup of coffee. We often hear this term that we overcome by the words of our testimony. Who have we shared our testimony? Who have we gone back and, 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 and pulled the young brother and pulled the sister and help? I didn't say pull them and condemn them. I didn't say go back and pull them and shame them. I didn't say go back out there and, 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 and ridicule them. Go back out there and make it seem as if you, you are so holier, that you are more holier than Christ himself. No, what I'm saying, 
brothers and sisters, saints, body of Christ. How have you and I displayed the true agape love? How have we truly brought restoration unto someone? How many of us have actually walked along beside an individual? How many of you have actually labored? How many of you are actually praying? Not P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, but P-R-A-Y-I-N-G. We should not be born again Christians complaining about everything. When we are the representation of God in the earth. We are vessels for revival in the land. We have a duty. That duty is to restore hope. That duty is not to condemn each other. That duty is not to judge each other. Jesus did not do that when the, when, 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 the, when the individuals brought the lady before him. They said, listen, this lady was found in the act. She was caught in the act. And what did Jesus say? Yeah, I know I'm paraphrasing so some parts that I'm that I'm skipping by. But what did he say? What did he tell her? What did he tell the crowd of the people? He told them. Y'all remember? They end up dropping their stones. They end, they end up dropping because they realized that they had that if they were going to accuse somebody, that they first had to do an examination from within. They realized that they could not hold somebody to the same standard that they themselves was not living up to. And sometimes we put, we put certain, certain standards on people that we're not ourselves living up to. God delivered you from, from the very thing that you frown your nose upon someone and you act as if you have not been where that individual is or was. The duty in the assignment is for us to provide comfort edification the only way to see change is to manifest after praying to get busy going into the vineyards 
to get busy going into the highways, going into the byways. Comforting someone, showing the love of Christ. Operating in the fruits of the spirit, long suffering, patience, kindness, meekness. We need to operate in the posture of mercy because it was mercy that was bestowed upon us. Some of us have been some places. We've done some things. And God chose to not allow us to really suffer the full consequences. That was his mercy. We are never above or beneath from not displaying that same grace, that same mercy that was bestowed upon us. And not Put that or display that or extend that unto others. This is the season of spiritual revival. Some have said, just give it to the Lord. Let the Lord work it out. But there are things that God has a way of proving who he is by using us as vessels. We're so quick to say praying. What happens after praying? What happens after and while praying? Yes, the affectionate, fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much, but there should be some type of there should be some type of dialogue going on between you and your heavenly father. It shouldn't just be us just dialoguing with him and petitioning him. It should be some type of communication when God, when Abba Father, when we're praying with the creator, Abba Father, Christ should be God, the heavenly father should be speaking to us. There should be things that is shared and amongst sharing we should get up and do what it is that he's called us to do. Do what it is that he has set for us to do. Without hesitation, without procrastination, without worrying about what this person is going to think, without worrying about what that person is going to think. This is the time for the spiritual revival. This is the time for the spiritual awakening. We've got to arise, we've got to shine, we've got to get up, we've got to throw the excuses out the door, dump the garbage can, dump the trash can. It's time to haul away all that stuff that is stopping us from being the God-spirited, historical, 
vessels that he has called us to be in earth. We've got to get back to the basics of love. For God so loved the world that he gave what? His only begotten son. It's love that surpasses all understanding. Love. Not this religion, but love. Love is the foundation of kingdom manifestation. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, this is the season of kingdom takeover. And it's time to take back and to tear down those walls of stony ground, those walls of hurting each other, those walls of causing physical harm, those guns with those words. It's time for a spiritual awakening. It's time to get up, to stand tall and to stand strong and to go with God and manifest his glory to be the vessels of his manifested agape love. Peace and blessings. Please make sure that you participate with our outreach event that we do every month where we go into the communities, we help the unhoused, we uh, have an outreach project uh, with the homeless shelters in the DMV region. If you would love to be a part, please make sure that you send an email at yourbreathoflife at gmail.com. Also, we are collecting Bibles. Please make sure that you reach out to us at yourbreathoflife at gmail.com. Hit us up on Facebook. We appreciate your prayers and your support.